Welcome back. I honestly think I really like Mega Galaxy's draft in this game one. I, I think they've got the edge. Really do. Where are you going? Yeah, a little bit of early fighting coming out as well in the top lane as uh, Kuroki taking a ton of damage here. Actually, they've got the rebound as well. Dubu and Moon Meander might just draw first blood here. Whoa, okay, finish the job. Finish the job. There we go. Dubu Here's gets it blood. done. He takes a lot of damage for it. Uh, and he's going to buy a salve immediately. Oh, what a stun. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> what? That was beautiful. <laughs> this is really good space from Kuro. <laughs> it really is, yeah. He is uh, the mayor of Value Town at the moment. He's going to have a stun in one second, but that's not going to matter as Tomato is going to take him out and TP right the way back. I mean, we'll save light down in the bottom lane in a bit of trouble, but the boom and speed bonus from Moon Meander going to get him out of there. Saber like doubles up the wave. That's uh that's the dream. Ooh, Sumail with the rotation. Oh no, that is a huge rotation in from Sumail. He's gonna get himself a double kill with it as well. You know that's just a double kill in a side lane at some point. Yeah. Miracle. Maybe in some trouble down at bottom. Let's see what they can do here. They're actually backing away, even though Dubu and Mumiander are coming in, and uh, there come the Thunder Gods finishing off Miracle in the bottom lane. Maybe like just making sure he didn't get that Jingo off to make sure that he would die to the Thunder Gods. Another look of a GH as well. Moon Meander, he's in. He's got the damage and GH will fall. No ulti available on him. Like Miracle thought he was taking a, a good trade and he could eventually get the Jingo, but the Zeus ult comes out and yeah. just that extra damage that he ends up going down. Another jump in the bottom lane. I mean, Dubu has not left here yet, but uh, they're going to use it to disengage instead. And actually, Mumiander might be going down. Despite three heroes being here, the combo of the Wyvern and the Monkey is just too damn strong. And actually, they're looking for more. They might go for Dubu as well. In fact, they very much will. Can they stop this from happening? Can they like, do anything other than just watch? Well, you can throw in a void, and apparently that will be enough. All righty, tidy. Now, Bryle's coming in for this one as well. They want to get Miracle again. If he dies for a second time, this will be awful. But the heals come through thick and fast for Nygma. And now, Samael. Joining the fight, but sees the rotations coming in and decides against it. A little bit too aggressive there, so we'll back himself off. Oh, Hold on. Miracle. Save for life takes a step too close, and they re engage on Nate Galaxy, and now Moon Meander will also fall. Oh man, that, that was a great little fake out there from Nate Galaxy. Grabbed themselves a couple of kills, and now they're looking for more. But they're not going to be able to find Brile at least. He's got that heavenly jump to get himself away. Miracle back to the trees, but Dubu just too damn healthy. Brow TP down here. They're trying to commit to this. Yeah, same like They get some damage. Brow coming in. They need to finish him fast. They will. Miracle will fall. Yeah. Creeps wants to finish the job, but Miracle's going to come in and try to get the kill to Saberlight. And actually, it's going to be able to do exactly that. With a little bit of help with the Guardian. And now, all of a sudden, in the top lane, they're going as well. And then TA under the tier 2 tower is going to get killed off by that gruesome twosome of Kuro and off mind control. Saberlight's going to do even worse versus a nice uh, Dark Sierra as they make the engagement in the bottom lane. And talking about Saberlight, he is gone once again. That Saberlight has to recover now. Yeah, it is mode recovery for TSM, but Nygma Galaxy uh, have under absolutely no ideas about what they want to do, and they want to stop that from happening. But in the top lane, Kuro might have been enough more than he can choose. Spike Carap is going to buy him a bit of time, but Brawl's going to be able to seal the deal. Uh, she can full to zero like any... It feels like any hero of the game, but supports especially. Yeah. If Refraction is down, then definitely the TA is going to drop. And this smoke is going to find a big target here. They managed to get on top of the TA, and that is Tomato gone and eliminated from the game in the back lines as well. They're going to use Winter's Curse to hold down the Enchantress and get themselves another plus one for this kill. Dubu to full. Go make some plays and solely Guardian in. That's going to be the name of the game. That's all exactly what Kuroki's looking to do here as he sits over that room. But they move across, they find the Monkey King. Well, after they actually they found them, Saberlight's made the jump, but uh, now regretting it instantly and trying to get away. Look at Dubu just getting three shot by some male tearing through that little deer. Now, Saberlight, he's in the tree line, so not going to be caught out here. Surged Iron Shell Dawnbreaker running at you with a Deso is is a little scary. Uh, yes. Not a hero you'd think like, oh, what a great Darkseer combo, but it makes sense. Certainly does. And uh, Miracle here going for the inhibit into the Wukong's command, and that is going to put another end to Tomato's life. I, I, like, by the time he gets 2,500 gold, it'll be like a 10k gold lead for Nigma. And uh, then the BKB might not even matter. Oh, 
Oh, Kuro at the very least, but uh, that's by Karen. Because <laughs> the male just charging into four heroes. Oh, who are you looking for, by the way? Kuro does eventually die to it, though, so. It is a small victory for TSM, and they're going to look for more. They're going to try and turn it into a big victory. Mind Control would definitely be that, but he's going to turn around with a vacuum wall coming out, but the Spurs going to throw him backwards here. Mind trying to get off that damage, but he's scared. All of the illusions are on top of him, just burning through his refraction, and it's Moon Meander to fall instead. And now, Smail just jumping back a few centimeters, getting in a slightly better position as Tomato gets beaten down by Miracle on the sidelines. A swing, a hit onto the Enchantress, but Smail can't follow up. Thanks to that untouchable. But nevertheless, another big win for Nigma Galaxy. Save a light. Don't do it. Send your, send your mental energy to him to say not go for this creep wave, but he has ignored our warnings and he is now being beaten the hell up by this Monkey King who is just killing whoever and whatever he wants. Miracle and a mega kill streak now on this Monkey King. But Dawnbreaker, the Starbreaker, you know, it's a spell, but it's based on your right click, so it goes entirely through. Oh no, sweet little tomato. <laughs> He's going to get squashed and boiled up into a bolognese. He's got a double damage on Sumail, as if he wasn't doing enough damage. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and relax right. here. Uh, Do you reckon Go he can kill Dubu in two swings of the hammer this time, then? Maybe one. Wind Scar's going to uh, come out, and in comes Mummy from the heavens, throwing a vacuum in as well. I'd say that was two. It was two. Yeah, you were right. It's two. He's godlike now. He didn't even use yeah, the double was. damage, by the way, Nomad. Goodness gracious. Stay away. And now, well, they've actually found the Monkey King with three heroes here. Can they bring him down in time? I think they can. That's going to be life number one. Keep in mind, he doesn't have a BKB, but at the same time, he does have backup coming in thick and fast. TSM, they know that. They respect this team. They're the squirrels of wherever monkeys are, Australia or whatever. <laughs> I don't think that's after it. Tomato inside the circle of death once again. It's just boot camp for him, except he keeps failing and having to go back. Yeah, he can't get out. And now, onto the high ground we go, Nigma. They are actually just going to get the GG out straight away. They barely take two steps on the high ground and the GGs are called. And that's going to be it for game number one. What an absolute beatdown. Let's get into it. Game number two of Nigma versus TSM. Yeah, and these early CS can be so vital to turning the lane in your favor. And as we've seen twice today already, if you lose the lanes, you're going to have a bad time. Dubu getting very low here and he's going to get taken out here. He's going to get a vessel. That's pretty standard. It's really good for dispelling the wind run, so I can understand why he wanted to go cross wax. It's a shame because, oh, Smell taking some heavy hits here, but not enough to bring him down. I don't think, although he's not going to stop. Bro, keeps on chasing him down, has the speed advantage. Smell actually turning around onto Bryle now, but he is going to go down thanks to Dubu's rotation in, and Kuro will not be able to finish off Bryle either. And actually, might be in a bit of trouble himself. The EMP is going to hit the deck. The Nightmare immediately cancelled out. The right click is there from Bryle. The range is just enough. And managed to grab themselves two kills in the middle lane. TSM turning up the volume. Meanwhile, Saber Light ends up trouble in the bottom lane. The Quill's going to take him out. He kind of needs to. Timber, Timber is not a hero you like playing from behind. It's designed to, to win the lane and be aggressive in the early moves. Well, rotation up to the top wave. They're actually going to just try and take down Mind Control. They're going to be able to do exactly that. But as the Arctic Burn runs out and Dubu moves in, they're uh, just going to make sure the GH is nowhere nearby. But he is not. He went up at the top. Yeah, there's another rotation for Brawl here onto Mind Control. Mind Control takes some heavy, heavy hits. Brawl trying to finish the job. There is a Fairy Fire available. I don't think that's going to be enough to save his life, though. Brawl closes the gap, gets a right click off, gets the kill, and turns invisible as Kuro is joined the prey. Oh, he's actually going to be able to pick off Tomato. This trade went from okay to pretty bad. Meanwhile, GH dies at bottom and up the top. They're still going on to your poker here, and they're going to be able to bring him down as well. It's Kuroki with a double kill. Who is running, completely running down mind control. Jogging buddies here. And hello to each other. Mind control. He does have the ghost shroud, but Tomato's coming in as well. A couple of taps. Tippity taps onto mind control, and we'll finish him off. The Shakram gets the kill. Let's see. Tibu. Power shot fired across. There's more coming oh, in for nice Shackle. Ooh, that was a beautiful Shackle, yeah. And that's going to cancel out the grip. The Nightmare will actually fail from the Bane here. And now when his curse comes through, this might be really bad for TSM. Let's see what they can do on Nigma here. They're bringing in the heroes, but they will bring down Dupu. Now Samael fighting up into Saberlight. Saberlight's a pretty scary boy, though. Not going to need a little bit more damage than that to bring him down. Just the Shackle for the time being. So it's going to be Dupu and Bryalport down for the time being. They would have to be really quick on the, uh, the clicking. On the, because it's a, yeah, oh, whatever. Just the heroes, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Mind control, 
Uh, pretty far forward here. Winter's Curse, uh, not gonna latch on to him, so only last second here is Bryl. Now he needs to get away from this one, but that's not happening. And the Reaper's Scythe gonna seal his fate. So he's he's not trying to rush the eggs. He feels pretty comfortable going uh, a little bit later to hit that timing. Yeah, and I guess the status resistance is very nice against like the first one, things like that, if you don't go for any purge. It's the next best thing. Crow. Gonna use that heavenly jump. Is it gonna get him away from this one though? I don't think so. That's set. They will use the cold embrace to keep him alive a little longer, but with the tornado and the timber chain, they will finish the drop. But now the focus fire coming out onto Sable. Light. He needs to get away. Timber chain away once again here, but is being chased, and the power shot will take him down from some mail. As once again, they clear them out of the triangle. Do to fall as well to the hands of the bristle back. That's British, but in a game this close, it definitely feels like. It's surprising that this is the first attempt the team is making, but immediately they try to make the play into the middle lane. TSM unleashing onto mind control. They want to try and take him out nice and quickly for the first kill off this fight. The Sunstrike comes down with the Chakram, will finish the job, but Sableye can be taking a lot of damage. Moving ahead and in with Black Hole, just onto that headshot, trying to take him out, but Sableye is going to die in the back lines. And they can't kill off Miracle. They don't have the damage. Now they come in with Tomato, though. He's looking to try and follow up here. He's a mouse drop to get the kill, and he will find it. And move across, looking for more. Once again, Samuel just nightmared up in the middle of this fight. Do they have the damage to surround her and kill her off even with that wind run ticking through? Maybe B, the Sunstrike connects, and Tomato gets another one. This time it's with the Blood Rite. Now he's looking to run down the rest of the stragglers here. GH gonna be that guy, but he's managing to get over the trees, so it doesn't look like there'll be any more deaths here. So, when is that Black Hole back up? Well, it's already there. Moon is BKB too, very soon. Uh, Saber Lights? Oh my god, he's just jumped in and immediately getting taken down. He does get off the BKB, but he's actually going to rip through this. Looks like he is for the time being. Meanwhile, for male, he's getting pretty low to the rupture and just trying to TP out of this one, but he's not going to make it out. Tomato gets the Radio. kill. Unfortunately, Bristle does not care that much uh, about the rupture. That's also probably why he got the Sanj, uh, I would say, is, is for the rupture. Oh, they see Moomiander. They do indeed, and they want to try and bring him down, but he's actually going to turn around and drop the Black Hole straight up onto the Bristol back, but he is going to die for his efforts. Save Lider as well being held still on the back line. This Shackle's going to follow up the high ground as well and hold him back. Brown comes forward. I'm not sure about this, Brown. This seems very aggressive for a man without a DKB. But okay for now. Oh, the Shackle Miracle gets involved. Beautiful Shackle coming through on the two as well. Reaper side takes down Brian. Doobie gone as well. Tomato, he's got nothing left but to TP away. Mikma taking a massive, massive fight here once again. Philly. Is there any big boy Philly on the uh, Mikma side? Do they have it? They do. Kuro's got one, so he'll get nags. Very nice. Very nice. Saberlight's getting gunned down in the street here. My goodness, he's just taking out a beautiful curse coming out from GH as well. That's two heroes. They can't afford to lose. They're going to lose one of them. Moomiander's going to fall, and I'm pretty sure Brother Seekers is going to follow him to the grave. Nygma have suddenly just found their momentum here. He's got plus 400 damage. He's hitting for over 600, or about, actually, I think exactly 600. No, I'm doing NA math. That's, that's <laughs> NA math. Sumail, GH. Kuroki, they're also good focus targets. And if you're Nigma, you wanna, ooh, Tomato breaking the smoke. Let's see. They are fighting on the opposite high grounds at the moment as they move in. Stable Light just taking front lines here, trying to take down Kuroki. Gonna be able to do exactly that. Now the Black Hole comes down along with the Sun Strike on to the Bristle Back. That's only gonna get him down to about half HP though. Meanwhile on the side, GH is gonna lose his life. TSM finding the side kills whilst engaging on the Bristle Back as well. Mind control. He's just been on the front lines here. Oh, Beautiful the nightmare, nightmare save. save from Dubu, though. And now they're going to turn things around on the old MC. This Necrofast is going to join in the grave. Three heroes dead on the side of Nygma. Nothing lost for TSM. Percentage based damage, though. Repetitive strain injury. Very common in gamers. Yeah, but Miracle. Oh, the steal from Saberlight. Timber Chain through the pit. That was absolutely perfect. And now they take the fight. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh my god. Well, now they'll turn it around. I mean, they will take the Aegis away from him. Meanwhile, Tomato's dead at the back lines. Yeah, this might be the point Nygma wins the game anyway. Sableite trying to survive through this Timber Chain away, going for the TP out, but that is not going to happen. He's going to get killed off as well, and it's five heroes dead on the side of TSM. Nice Aegis, bro. Good lord, I mean... 
At least you get on Reddit. Oh my god, another beautiful shackle from some male two heroes brought down, and that might be the end. That is not something you can recover from. The diebacks on both of them with one shackle. I think it's over. Do apologize for the uh, audio issues here. Seem to be having. Nah, it doesn't matter. The, the, just, the Ancient is gone. The Ancient is gone. There's no chance there for TSM. They decide to fight until the very end, as you should.